Throughout the history of IT, there has been a constant drive to standardize and commoditize. This is largely driven by the tendency for high volume standardized components to be lower cost. Having said this, there is also plenty of room for new players to come onto the scene with some sort of proprietary differentiator, which by definition, balks the trend for standardization. Also, there has always been a battle in play, pitting hardware against software. We saw this with RAID controllers. Yes, you can perform RAID with software, like with Microsoft Windows, but software implementations come with a performance hit. Hardware implementations yield better performance and scalability, but come at the cost of, well, cost. Processing performance generally is increasing all the time, so often the flexibility of doing something in software becomes feasible, even from a performance perspective, over time. This is a bit of a ramble, but sets the scene for a trend which hit the storage market over a decade ago. It's based on a simple idea. What if instead of building highly proprietary scale-up storage solutions, why not use industry standard components and build scale out systems, which leverage software to achieve the characteristics we need? This is in fact an example where a number of new storage vendors suddenly popped up in what was already a pretty mature market and proceeded to turn it on its head. The ramifications for this new idea went far beyond storage and arguably lay the foundations for revolution across the board in data centers, as well as underpinning the success of public cloud. Let's remind ourselves how scale up storage works. We start with a base system, which includes controllers, meaning some sort of processing capability. Then we add storage drives. We can expand beyond the limits of the base system by adding trays and disks, hence scale up. Scaling up can be applied in many areas, not just storage. It is characterized by adding scale to components individually. So in this case, by adding storage capacity. For scale out, we start with a complete system referred to as a node, then add more nodes to achieve scale. A node includes compute, CPU and memory, network connectivity, plus some storage in the form of direct attached drives often internal to the system, but could be external. To achieve this, we don't need proprietary hardware, which is typical in scale-up systems. We can just use an industry standard server. This means that the hardware costs in the system can be much lower. And here's the clever bit. We can combine nodes together, adding compute and storage each time. We can also conceptually wrap these systems together with software, which is able to combine the compute and storage resources in the servers and present them to the outside world as a single system. This is the essence of scale out. And note that we are scaling compute and storage, which is why the implications of doing this go far beyond just storage. The same basic building blocks can be used for a variety of use cases, depending on the functionality provided through the software. We'll cover two of them in this course. First up, object storage. 